Here at the uh, end of the hike with Dan McDonald. We're gonna do a nice sit down and Dan's gonna film a little video. I would this road keeps going and there's these old like hundred year old abandoned cabins with like relics of a whole nother era and it just keeps going and every day I try to go a little further took the bike out here yesterday almost <laughs> grafted a couple times so I was like oh it'd be really bad to knock myself out yeah, out here <laughs> 10 miles out on this 14 inch mountain bike that isn't working very well. <laughs> the gears need to be regenerated. Oh, what an amazing day. Perfect weather, sun, fresh air, trees, all that amazing fruit. Let's see. Who just got here? That's a lot of people. New people? Yeah. You've been here. Yep. No, you're, you're new. New. No, I've been here. You've been here? I was here last year. We yeah, didn't talk much. I mean, much. Uh, this, for this week. Oh, this week. Yeah, no, I'm new. You're new. Yeah. I don't know. Are you wearing nail polish? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was, uh, I said, I was, I took all, this was amazing. I had all four of the most important women in my life. If my mother was there, it would have been the pinnacle of all things. But my ex-wife, my girlfriend, and my two daughters, we were all shopping together. Now, I was standing outside on the corner, because I get a little tick sick of that stuff. I'm just a swiper at the end of the thing, right? And sometimes the, yeah, that looks pretty good, or no. But that's a very fine line that we walk, isn't it, gentlemen? Yes. Uh, of course you're on. Yes, you are. Yes. <laughs> Those pants look great on your backside. You know? They make it look small. What's that? The pants. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, so I was in the, we were shopping, and uh, and I saw this fingernail polish. I said, this is a great color. Somebody buy this. Let me buy this for somebody. One of you like this. None of them liked it. So I just said, fine. I put it on, put it on myself. And so it's still the remnants of the, of the pinnacle of my experience with. Uh, you should go full out next time. And toes. Oh, I have. <laughs> In fact, next year when I come to Woodstock, I'm going full drag. <laughs> I used to go to Burning Man and I would wear uh, women's clothing. It, I like it. <laughs> oh, I forgot about the camera. <laughs> Anywhere else besides Burning Man? <laughs> No, but women's clothing is just way more comfortable. Right? I, wear, I like men's clothing. Really? Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. my women's clothing are so tight. Especially the <laughs> shirts. I, get like that, but I guess it's this. I men guess I'm referencing the softness of the panties, and we'll just stop. This is on YouTube, right? Okay, one more little thing. I was at Burning Man, and this girl comes up to me, and she goes, Those panties look better on you than they would on me. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Now we're really getting in trouble with the YouTubes. Oh my god, I gotta unsubscribe from this guy. He's weird. You know that already? You haven't been around here for long, have you? Should we talk about something serious? So, no, let's get serious now. Uh, everyone interested in health? Yes. joy than yesterday? Who wants that? Yeah. Boring. More joy. More peace. 
which is already there. excavation process. I gave a talk, uh, Eating for Enlightenment, the other day, and everyone was like, it was so great, it was so great, it was so great. And I just had a couple of funky days before that, you know, just kind of over eight. Overeating for me is like uh, it's lettuce and salad dressing. You know, I'm just getting to that point where the breath is becoming so much more important. The breathing, the apparatus, and that's why here it's so amazing. You your energy just goes up because I mean I'm always driving around in the truck. I'm like living in my truck right now, in traffic, in the Bay Area or whatever, you know. So the spiritual centers in our sinus cavities have gotten so acidic, so clogged up that that's why we, you know, we're not fully alive. That's why you can't get mad at the people for there is no God because they don't have that.